Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we have some pro gameplay review. So we had the NA qualifiers on the weekend. Um, some really good games. I'm going to do the two sets. Bobby uh, doesn't want to do it. So we'll do the semifinals and then regardless of whether we win or lose the semifinals, uh, we do have a chance at qualifying. So the top three teams in NA qualify with the new online format. So if we win, we automatically qualify. But if we lose, then uh, we do not automatically qualify, but we get one more chance in a potential uh, third place qualification. So um, we're going against IX Academy's team and they went by another name. I forget what it was, but they're all good players um, and the games are really entertaining. So I'm excited to cover them. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay guys, game number one. Now the bans are for the entire match. So our team banned Mr. P, uh, which is not very fun to play against. And the other team did ban max uh which we've been practicing with a bit but we kind of like knew they'd ban max so um usually teams they either ban like max or like sandy or something like that depends on the maps honestly so you can see we have pretty similar comps uh the only difference is that they do have a daryl and we do have a brock so we weren't really expecting the daryl uh but it's fine like he does pretty well into our comp honestly uh, but we just got to like kind of like burst him down as a team and he did a good job just kind of like playing it slow at first and not giving him my super just kind of like waiting back till he gets a super because then he has like a lot more kill pressure um, but you can see my teammates doing a really good job off the start and I'll actually get their piper there uh, with the coin splash and I do get my turret out first so that's really big Bobby's doing a really good job on the left side also by the way I have the easy side on this map um, so I'm going to trade with their piper again but we're off to a really good start we're at almost uh countdown already but they are gonna get some pressure back and they'll take on my turret which is fine so we do want to get this daryl out um i, I mean i want to stay alive i don't want to respawn there so i do have to use my penny turret unfortunately there but it does push him back and i do get our grass back so me and crying both hit a really good shot there and that's going to take out their mid yet again and unfortunately he gets his turret out just in time and it does take out my turret um but, you know, Bobby's there to kind of clean up their penny. Bobby should really take out that turret right now just because it's going to be annoying for us. But uh, he doesn't, unfortunately. That's okay, though. And we're still in a pretty good spot. So now they switched over. So I have the penny matchup. I love this matchup. Um, and you can see me, like, get the outplay here. Crying hit a good shot on their Piper. So we're kind of, like, trading pretty evenly. So I know he's there. I just go for the peak shot and I'll outplay him. And little spin. Um... <laughs> But their Daryl has all the gems, which is pretty good for us because he can't pressure us as much. So we kind of just have to really focus on their Penny and their Piper not doing too much work against us. So we're in a really good spot right now. And you can see just how far pushback their Daryl is. So if he wants to go up, it's going to be really risky. And Bobby's going to take out their Piper there. Really good job from Bobby. And we do have enough. They don't have enough time to count uh, reset it. So all Crying has to do is stay alive here. And in the VC, I'm like, yo, Penny's coming right side. So just back up. Like, don't get hit by him. And... He kind of walks right back within shooting distance um, and just allows them to get countdown. Um, so we would have won off that, <laughs> which it sucks, but it's okay. Um, we still have a lot of t time to just, and we're in a good position, honestly. Like they did get the gems off the Daryl, which kind of sucks, but he does have one and every gem is like kind of crucial at this point. So I'm just kind of like holding off on mid a little bit and Bobby's going to get a really good kill on Kang there and we'll take out their penny turret right away. But they do have countdown, so we really need to get this gem and we know that Slash is getting like a little greedy. So we all just like yell, like shoot him and we just burst him down really fast. So we don't want to get too ambitious, but Crying will get taken out, unfortunately. And... They do get 15 off that, I believe. Um, so Bobby almost gets them too. It's really close. And we don't have enough, obviously, because only 29 gems spawn in gem grab. So we do, unfortunately, lose this game. And it was it was so winnable. It, <laughs> it was so winnable. So losing games like that sucks. But it's the first game of uh, the set. So it's not too, too bad. Okay, guys. Game number two um so they do change their comp up quite a bit pam is actually really good here and you know gene's always solid broken brawler stupid brawler <laughs> anyways i won't go on a gene rant anyways um i'm gonna like look to be really aggro here so crying hitting that shot kind of lets me just push up because i can three shot uh slash if i really want to and you can see I'm in a really good spot right now so i have kind of like a choke point and like i said i have the easy side of the map bobby's on the tough side but bobby does have a counter to penny with brock um so we're both playing our matchups really well so far and just 
exerting a lot of pressure on them so i'll like kind of it's not a waste of a turret because i'll get it back like soon and i'm just trying to keep as much pressure as i can on them at this point and crying's going to do a good job breaking the walls over for bobby and we're just playing really well at this point so i do get my turret and i could place it aggro but we don't have that much pressure anymore so and the wall would have just gone broken so it was a good call not to play it like very high up that way my turret stays on the map and bobby does get taken out from kang though that's a little unfortunate um so i'm gonna like pinch over just because i really had the penny matchup last time crying's just gonna take him out though so makes it <laughs> pretty easy and straightforward for us uh slash is gonna take out bobby with a nice pull there but it was really close um bobby missed one shot unfortunately and that was the difference maker so they do get a penny turret out so i can't be too too aggro but i do really like this penny matchup and i'll go for it whenever i can just because it's literally just poke and i'm really good at that crying is also going to help me out there and get a shot on kang so i'm like one or two shots off and he goes to like just i know he's like kind of like hang back too much so i'll catch him with two max distance shots and we do get a penny turret out which is going to be really huge i'll look to be aggro that way crying can like move up on the map and just um have more like freedom i guess uh, Kang is going to get his turret there, so we got to be mindful of that, and I think I do take him out again, or Crying might take him out here, I feel like one of us do. Okay, I'll take him out again, so you can just see me like kind of doing work on the penny matchup here, and we're off to like, right here, I'm just kind of like trying to stall a little bit, and that way we can get the 11th gem, so they don't have enough for countdown, so that's why I threw my turret out there, and you know we're gonna take a pretty convincing second game i think as a team we had really good like communication that game um and we all played our matchups pretty well so gg <laughs> all right guys game number three uh so this is the decision maker for the first um map of our match so they went back with the piper comp and into our comp like it's it's not a huge counter or anything but it is good into our comp with the daryl so I kind of realized that he was standing there last time so you'll see instead of like just shooting i'm more comfortable like moving up the map um compared to last time where i thought he was in the far right grass but krang's gonna get taken out and that's gonna be really huge for us because now kang has position there i have to shift over and just try like to get kang out of there but bobby is gonna take him out which is really good but now we got a daryl in here um so crying getting taken out there was really bad for us but we can like just kind of pinch and the game's definitely not over yet but they're already at seven gems and bobby's gonna go down too so it's just <laughs> this game was <sighs> it's not over yet and we can still make something happen but we really need to be like aggro and like make something happen so crying will get tapped again that makes us kind of like have to push back and give up mid presence so kang's just gonna walk in our mid i'm trying to go up um i gotta like just try staying alive here i guess but there's not really much i could do um but bobby and crying's gonna hit some good shots and take out their uh penny and bobby and crying can look to take out their daryl as well here and they do do that so we do have a chance again i just really need to get a penny turret out but um i'm not very close to it like i'm not too too far off but slash is just gonna kind of like walk up and just take the gems because he's tanky enough and he could like roll out if he really needs to but he's doing a good job saving his roll um crying is gonna just jump away from kang so he doesn't go down i'll get taken out by the piper but just kind of like losing mid at first really hurt us that game um so they are gonna take the first step all right guys map number two is um sandy gems heist so we're kind of using a weird comp bobby saw like the japanese team use it and he thought it was godly i'm not really a big fan of it but <laughs> we practiced with it and we did fine but scrims are completely different so sorry i'm like lagging a little bit right now but um you can see i'm on penny again so ideally i want to get up to the safe and just get my turret in aggro position bobby's going to help me with a pinch here hopefully and we can take out kang so yeah he'll go into bobby which is the right call on kang's part that way he doesn't feed me super because my super is a lot more important than bobby's so you can see i'm just kind of like tapping slash trying to get my super up um and crying is just kind of like tying on his side i guess he's not really like getting too much done right now but i do get my penny super so i'll just try putting it mid so i can support them more and i think yeah bobby does a nice cover there on crying so that's going to enable crying to go on safe and you can just see my penny turret is up but on the other end of things i'm like it's a really awkward <laughs> way to defend uh penny versus rico you can just see he has like the bound shot so i kind of just like go for it and um he does survive though unfortunately i thought i could three tap him but bobby's there for the pinch and we'll take him out so my turret's still doing work um 
and I do have another one ready. So we want to get it within range of the safe, like right up here. And I do have the star power on that will do the damage to the safe uh, when it expires. So I just got to like kind of like try chaining turrets. That's all I'm like useful for. And you can just see like how much work the penny turret is doing to the safe. So at the other end of things, they do have a Daryl on the safe. So it's actually like really close right now and they do have position, but we still have the penny turret on safe. And when they break it, it's going to get it down to 12%. So Kryon can kind of just super up and almost finish it here. So we got to just like hold up on defense while he goes and do, does that. Um, and they do have an M's on safe, but you can just see that's why we have Carl. Just if you can get in that position, it does so much damage. And Kryon is also a really good Carl. So he played that really well. All right, guys, game number two of Heist. Um, so you can see they switched up their comp. They added a Brock instead of a Daryl. Um, Ems and Rico are both really strong on this map. So one of the issues we had in the competition was Bobby has to play on his mini account. And a lot of the times I wanted to play a certain brawler, <laughs> but Bobby doesn't have Ems unlocked on his mini account and like crying didn't want to play it either. So <laughs> it was kind of frustrating. But you can just see crying lets the rico go completely uncontested at the start um which i think was kind of bad um because they just have total position now and they do have people actually defending us instead of us just letting a rico go on the safe so they're just literally going to destroy our safe so fast um the rico just walked down the side uncontested um and crying went for the trade but we like pretty much lost that game because of that i think and it's just not even like close this one and it was just a poor call i think to let the rico go all right guys game number three um as soon as i saw the comp i knew we lost so bobby thought it would be a good idea to go barley because <laughs> it would if they had the same comp like it would counter them but triple tank like no, he, he just gets run down right away too. We don't have any damage in our comp that could take them out. All of our brawlers are really like subpar at taking out tanks. Um, and Bobby also has the healing star power on on top of that, I think. So let's see. Oh no, he has the damage one, I guess. But um, it doesn't really matter at this point. Like it takes us so much time to just kill one of them, especially like they're using like the bull shield. And then you can just see like we hit him with like all our shots and he still survives. And crying does get on safe. Um, Bobby kind of misses his super there. I'm just focusing on the defense. Um, I don't know. I can't take out this person by myself. Like, even if I hit all my shots, like, he'll still get, like, 30% off on the safe. So, it just, as soon as, it's, as I saw the comp, like, I knew we lost. Uh, everyone on our team did. Um, so, that's one issue that we have. That's our main issue, actually. Like, right now, it's just our comps. So bad. <laughs> I, I don't know why we played this comp uh so much regret <laughs> it's okay though we like do all we can it's just straight up the comp here so they're just gonna collapse on us at this point and you can see like even if we hit them with all our shots we don't have enough to deal with it and they'll just so it was good for them to know to use triple tanks we should have anticipated something like that but it's just a stupid mistake on our part all right guys so they're up two nothing it is a best of five um you know all the sets were kind of close except for all the games were close besides that last one and i guess the second heist one wasn't very close either but you can see we have mirror comps um so typically you do want to put the tick on the left but the left side is easier and the left side's supposed to carry so i'm fine with taking like the disadvantage of the tick on the right side um if bobby can like kind of get stuff happening on the left side but it's like a stalemate at first and i know toonie's going for that middle star so that's why I'm like checking it more than like focusing on the tick because I want to leave him one shot for crying if he is going for it. And I could tell just by like how many mines I was hitting at first that he is going to play aggro for it. So you can see he's always like kind of looking and crying's kind of blind firing, which I don't think you should do that that much. It's okay to do every once in a while, but you don't want them to know where you are. Um, and Bobby and Slash, like they have a really boring lane to watch. So it's just going to be like whoever can like poke better. Slash does get his super though first and um you know bobby definitely has the better lane too but they're trading pretty evenly and the real like the carry on this is supposed to be the piper um but toonie's playing super defensively and he's just really looking to get this middle star so as soon as he taps crying he'll like look to get it and he does tap crying there unfortunately and um he does get the middle star so that's really huge because you can just see how defensive this map is and that also enabled Luki to push up really fast. So I can go for an outplay. I got my tick head way before him. Um, 
he hasn't gotten a lot of value off me i have to like tank one or two take shots here to move up otherwise he can just keep spamming the entire time and there's 20 seconds left so i decided to just kind of like go for it and um i am like pretty weak but i do have the healing star power so i just got to make sure the piper doesn't tap me at this point and we'll go for a kill on the other side of the map because they are only up one nothing so it's definitely possible and i think we can almost trap slash here but He's just a little out of range and Karang is going to get taken out so they will win the first game 3-0 and it's just the mid star at first we like gave it up like too easily. Okay guys so game number two um Bobby didn't really do anything that game so I'm going on the left side because it's the easier side so I can like carry more on tick um and it's not like it's a really like weird lane for Bobby like you can see this game too there's not much you can do it's just tick is so like so trash on this map I, I wish there was like bans for map so you could just ban tick here but the focus is just on the tick and like uh the piper so bobby is kind of like useless and slash is kind of useless too <laughs> not like it's just how the map works um so you see i'm gonna like focus a lot on mid here and bobby just has to like really play passive maybe he can like sneak one or two shots in uh crying's gonna get tapped so i know i have to like spam mid star otherwise they get it again and they could just like play how they did last time so I'm letting Slash push up a little bit just so Crying can regen and we can focus on mid star again because that is literally like such a huge, huge advantage on this map. It's I don't like this bounty map for competitive at all. <laughs> it, you guys can see the gameplay. It's really bad. So I'm getting way more value than their tick is again. Um, and I'm going to like get my tick head first and I could have used it so much better, but Crying's in the VC saying just drop it no, no, no he says drop it now i'll go get the mid star and like i don't know why i listened to him that was so stupid of me to listen to him um so he'll take out the tick heads um i could it does take out my wall though so that's really big if crying could tap dooney there that would have been huge um but he's gonna get the free mid star and he does tap him but it's like a little too late at this point and they just kind of retreat with the mid star and our walls are a little broken so that's pretty useful for them um, so I know Slash has super, so I'm going to try baiting it out and we got to go for a kill here. So I got to like bait out Slash's super and I do it pretty good too. I get away. I know like how much damage each rocket does. It's less than like, I can't get too tapped by it. So I can take an extra regular shot and Crying unfortunately gets taken out. I get a kill on Slash here and we would have won if Crying just backed up. Um, and then one more second, I would have got a kill on Luki too, or Bobby would have finished him off. Um, so it's just stupid mistakes again all right guys that is going to be it for the gameplay so we did get swept unfortunately and all the maps were really close besides like maybe like one or two i guess and it's just like dumb little mistakes that shouldn't be happening um that i don't know <laughs> I, i'm still like frustrated about the games at the end of the day it well i can't like really really spoiled because the next video decides that but anyways um i hope you enjoyed the gameplay and fortunately we couldn't take the dub there so that loss really bothered me anyways uh that is gonna be for today i hope you enjoyed the gameplay and i'll see you all tomorrow peace